Hey everyone, welcome back to Elm Creek. And of course, that means we are going to be looking at another mod here on Mod Minute or so. And this is a really, really nice, beautiful actually looking Case IH Maxim CVX, I believe. And it's from Whiskey Sierra Modding. And I'll leave a link to the download um, in the description below. It's out on their itch.io website. Let me read you something here real quick from their uh, description. So, finally letting this one go. I gave up on the end game mod hub for now. Their standards have become a little too harsh for my patience level, so I've decided to drop this gem of a tractor for PC players. Well, I can tell you, <clears throat> after looking at this tractor, I don't know why this wouldn't pass. <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't pass. It's a, it's a beaut, and he's right. It is a gem. It's a gem of a tractor. Whiskey Sierra Modding has hit it out of the park again with this U.S. version, Case IH. Let me just read through a few of the features. So you can go through standard and premium CVX cab options. Of course, engines uh, vary from 115 through 150. And actually, that is not true. I believe they're a little bit different. We'll go through those here in a sec. Um, front, rate, front weight options... Uh, you, of course, have a U.S.-style three-point and draw bar hitch. And they mentioned the new paint materials and UDIM cab glass. Looking really good. Let's take a look at it real quick here in the, uh, in the uh, purchase page, store page. So the CVX Tier 4B U.S. version, of course, $132, $520. Not too shabby. I thought so. So our engine options are a little bit different than what he has listed there. Uh, starts at 145. Oh, I see what he has listed. Yeah. Okay. So he lists 115 through 150, and that's the engine, I guess, model or or uh, classification. Okay, not the horsepower. Okay. So we've got 145. For starters, you can go to 155, 169, 175, and 185. Three different brands of tires. You got Trailer Borg, Michelin, and Continental. And within each one of those, they are the same options. So we'll just go through the Trailer Borgs. You've got standard row, cro row crops. You've got row crops with weights, row crop duels, row crop duels with weights. Nice wide tires. Look at that thing. Look at the stance on that beauty. Yeah, it's looking nice. And wide tires with weights as well. Man, there is just something about, and I'm sorry to just interrupt here for a second, but there is something absolutely eye-catching about this tractor and that paint job and the glass too. I don't know if it's because he just mentioned it that I'm so focused on it, but it just looks absolutely epic. Um you can do front weights if you like, no weights, and then you can kind of scooch around there and add some weights to the front. You can also add front fenders if you feel like it. Internal monitors have a bracket. You can do the, the PLM GPS, the New Holland bail monitor, the full monitor set or none at all. Extremity lights, it looks like those are the ones on the back. Those are the warning lights that are foldable. I'll show you that here in, in a minute. Uh, front loader options too. We have Quickie, we've got Hauer, Allo, and nothing at all. I'm not sure if that's Quickie or Quick. I don't know. I've heard people call it either one. I usually call it Quick, but for some reason I felt Quickie tonight. And that's it. That is our Case IH Maxim CVX US style. Let's take a little bit closer look at this thing though inside. So inside we've got full monitor layout here nice nice control pad column there nice case ih seat let's fire this thing up for a sec it's got a nice really nice motor tone to it i really like the sound of the engine on this one it's got nice daytime front led running lights there that are pretty sweet the rear warning flags are foldable they also illuminate when you use your hazards or your blinkers. Really like that as well. In fact, I wonder. Yeah, okay. Very nice. I believe the door, and I believe I'm going to have to do this before I 
do this, but I believe the door, yep, the door is also operable. Standard horn, beacons. Really nice looking, well lit up for night farm work. Let's go inside and take a look at our monitors now that they're lit. Looking really nice, very high quality textures, really, really well done. Yeah, really enjoying this mod. This is definitely going to find a home on a map, no doubt about it. Like I said, Whiskey Sierra modding always does an amazing job with all of their mods. It's just, you can't really miss out. Air-free, high-quality mods. Um, only 30 megs, so it's PC Mac only. It's only a 30 meg download, so it's not this massive, uh, you know, mod file size you find sometimes. Just absolutely brilliant. And I highly encourage you when you're over there taking a look at this thing or downloading it for your map, take a look at his other mods there too. Those, I'll tell you, I've used a couple of the other ones. I plan on using more, but his um, semis, his Peterbilts, his Freightliner, um, he's got something else too out there on his website I was taking a look at. Just extremely high quality. Yeah, that Peterbilt cab over is really, really nice. Yeah, so definitely... Do a little poking around in his uh, itch.io site. If you haven't seen uh, his work before, I think you'll find it to be very high quality. But that's about it for now, everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this brilliant Case IH Maxim CVX US version from Whiskey Sierra Modding. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Definitely subscribe if you'd like to. I put out videos pretty much every day of the week and oftentimes on weekends. Hope to see you soon. Take care of yourselves and have a great weekend. Bye for now.